I've got another good one today. As you can see, the Windows desktop just brings you to a black screen and that's it. Just a white cursor. Hitting Control Alt Delete will bring this menu up for you, but we don't want this. We want it to load the Windows desktop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this. Stick around. All right, so here's the scenario. We've got a computer that boots to a black screen with a white cursor. It does give us some options with the Control Alt Delete. I'm going to bring up this menu again. Now from here, I can't really do a whole lot, but I can go to Task Manager, which does give me the option to get to a command line, which is good. First, I want to check the startup and see if there is anything in here that a uh, potential bug or anything like that shouldn't be running that would cause this problem. All I see really here is QuickBooks, Microsoft OneDrive, Skype, and Spotify. Nothing in here that would prevent Windows from running. Now the client said that this just started today. So my first guess is that it's probably a Windows update problem. But before I go to that point, I wanna just do a quick double check and make sure that everything's okay. So I'm gonna to try to go to File and then Run New Task. And then from here, type Explorer and see if it loads the Windows Explorer shell. And that'll give me access to the Windows file system if it works. But it looks like it's not loading. So we possibly have some corruption in the Windows Explorer. So now what we wanna do is we wanna check the Windows file system from here and make sure that everything is correct. What we're gonna do is click on File and New Task. We're gonna type in CMD, but make sure you check this box that says Create this task with administrative privileges. What that does is it allows you to run the command prompt in elevated mode, which gives you certain permissions that you wouldn't normally have. Now we have the command prompt up. You wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Now what this will do is it's going to scan the Windows file system and make sure that all the Windows files that are on the computer are correct, the correct versions, correct file types, all that stuff to make sure it's not a corrupted Windows file that's causing the desktop not to load. So we're gonna let this run for a few minutes and we'll come right back and see what we got. The system file checker ran. It did find some issues and repaired them. I went ahead and tried to type Explorer from the command prompt to see if it would bring up a Windows Explorer window. It did not. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna restart the computer from the command line and see if I get different results when it boots back up. So I'm gonna close the command prompt. I'm gonna go back to File and Run, New Task and I'm gonna type shutdown, all one word, space forward slash R for restart. And I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Windows says it'll shut down in less than a minute. You can go ahead and click close and let it restart. And as you can see, the computer restarts, but I got a blue screen indicating a memory management problem. So that is interesting. Okay, so we're back to a Windows login screen, and I'm going to go ahead and type in the pin. Let's see what happens this time. Just like that, after running System File Checker, magically the desktop boots up. There are a couple other things that you're going to want to do, even if you get your desktop loaded. The very first thing I do is after the computer is loaded up, I always go ahead and I restart the computer again just to be sure. So I just go to the Start menu and click Power and then Restart and go ahead and let the machine restart like you normally would. If it generally restarts two or three times and comes to the desktop every time, your problem's fixed. But there are some other issues you could possibly have and I'm gonna show you how to deal with those the next time the computer restarts. Okay, so we are back to our Windows login screen and I'm gonna go ahead and type the pin and just like that, the Windows desktop comes back up. So I think the original desktop issue was fixed running System File Checker. But what we wanna do is we also wanna make sure that there's no disk issues. So if you recall a little while ago when I ran the system file checker and I got the blue screen of death and it threw up a memory management error, possibly could be because the drive inside this computer is actually an NVMe SSD drive. It operates similar to the way memory works, so that could have been where the glitch is, but it could also have been an issue with the drive itself, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna just do a quick check disk on the C drive to make sure that everything is okay. So what I'm gonna do is from the search box, I'm gonna type in CMD, and I'm gonna go over here and click Run as Administrator. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and then when the Run box pops up, if I wanna type CHKDSK space forward slash F for fix, and then hit Enter. And it's gonna say it can't run because it's currently in use, 
do you want to run on the next restart say yes then at that point you can either shut this window down and restart manually or just type shutdown slash r and the computer will restart okay so as you can see the computer is restarting and now we just have to wait for the restart to happen and it will run check disk it just checks the disk to make sure that there's no issues with the file system now if you recall originally i suspected it was a windows update problem and this kind of leads me to believe that that might be more accurate than i realized after the check disk and the windows restart and the repairs and all that now it's getting the prompt from microsoft to update to windows 11. now i don't want to do that right now so i'm just going to decline the upgrade and I'm gonna go through and just skip the process and get back to the desktop. The other thing, like I said, the Windows updates could have been causing the issue. So what I wanna do is I just wanna go in here and I just wanna go into the updates and security and I just wanna run a quick check and make sure that Windows is up to date and that way if an update that we previously installed might have caused the problem, this will hopefully take care of it. Now, if for some reason you have the black screen with the white cursor, but you cannot get to Task Manager, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on this video right up here and watch the other video that I made that shows you how to do that. There are a bunch of Windows updates downloading. That's great, that's what I wanna see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let those updates finish, and then I'm gonna restart the computer, check for Windows updates again, and probably several more times to make sure that I've gotten all the available updates and that Windows is working properly. So once I know I've got all the Windows updates downloaded and that Windows is loading correctly without any issues, I've run the check disk, I've run the file checker, the Windows updates are loading, and I've got to the desktop every single time. I'm going to feel pretty confident to call this machine fixed. So I hope this video helped you and maybe it solved your problem, and if it did, make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know. So if you'd like to watch more videos on how to fix miscellaneous Windows issues, you can click on the playlist right here. And if you'd like to know more Windows basics, I just started a new series called Back to Basics. You can click that right here. So in the meantime, thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.